Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, a trail of garbage greeted commuters and motorists in the aftermath of Sunday's Carnival Road March. As we hear in this report, the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, says it will be sending the organizers of Carnival in Jamaica a bill after carrying out the unplanned cleanup of the corporate area. Now, Jamela Maitland has our report. It's the morning after the annual Carnival in Jamaica Road March, and these were the scenes at the bus stops, the entrance to business establishments, car parks, and the streets in sections of New Kingston and Hope Road in St. Andrew. The organizers are supposed to provide, make sure that they make arrangements to get the place clean and right after the event. There's no, there's no way that we should be seeing garbage at 6 o'clock. As a matter of fact, no, it's after 9 and garbage is still on the road. Mayor of Kingston, Andrew Swaby, and his team looked on in disappointment as they assessed the state of sections of the corporate area. Motorists and commuters aren't the only ones upset. Member of Parliament for St. Andrew Southeastern, Julian Robinson, says homeowners are angry. The residents of Lords Road, Tarsey Road, um, here and in those areas, because the, the marches actually went on those roads in the heart of the community and after the marches left the place was left in a deplorable condition this just took the icing of the cake when we got up thinking okay carnival is over we can get a break we can go to sleep tonight and we're driving through what looks like a rundown tenement and we can't even understand who is in charge of it we're here at one side the government agency is to be dealing with the cleanup and the other People are saying, no, it is the carnival. People are to clean it up. Carnival in Jamaica is an annual event that ends with the road march. But according to Executive Director of the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, Audley Gordon, Monday's unsightly scenes were as a result of poor planning. Mr. Gordon revealed that the agents is forced to clean it up and it isn't the first time. On this occasion, however, the NSWMA says it will be sending a bill to the organizers. The taxpayers should not be asked, as is currently the case, to find additional sweepers to put all over town to clean up behind a commercial event. So that's what we are doing now. We are cleaning the place now. We have crews all over cleaning up. But we will be sending a bill to the promoters. Mr. Gordon explained that as the event gets bigger, more robust monitoring and partnerships are needed. Recycling Partners of Jamaica was at the road march. Their mandate, however, is plastic collection. But even with that, some argue is still inadequate for the size of the event. But every year, based on our observation, what they've put in place to clean up is woefully inadequate to the volume of garbage that the carnival generates. When contacted, Chairman of Carnival in Jamaica, Kamal Banke, says he wasn't able to speak with us at the time of our report. A meeting is being sought between the KCMC and the Carnival bands about the issue, but it's clear the mayor's position. Just like how they have been prepared for this event, they should have make sure that they clean it up. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.